In this video, we're going to explore how to create a virtual machine for our class this semester. First of all, navigate to sslvpn.uc.edu. You want to log in and you also want to start a Junos Pulse session. That's important. It won't work without that. Uh, there are instructions on the SSL VPN FAC on some software that you need to download for Junos Pulse. A lot of it is just allowing permissions for Java to run, things like that. Once you've done that, go to the link that's been provided to you with this course, log in with your Bearcat credentials, and this is a virtual machine environment. They were kind enough to put together very quickly for us uh, for this semester. And uh, the nice thing is it's a normal virtual machine that you can use. And uh, additionally, because it's part of this course, I can see your virtual machine so I can go in, grade things, and also help you out virtually, things like that. It's going to make things very nice this semester. So from catalogs, choose vApp templates. Uh, this part's a little bit tricky because uh, we have some competition for the right click, but right click and choose add to my cloud. Uh, I'm keeping my finger on the right mouse button because if I let go, then the Windows Explorer uh, right mouse button or right menu comes up. Uh, also, by the way, with the VPN, I find it works best in Explorer, not in Chrome, unfortunately. So I'm going to choose Add to My Cloud. Now it comes up with some options. Uh, name VApp Jones BR2. I might name it for this semester. The semester uh, in which I'm recording this is uh, 2015 fall semester uh, in the class is 4045. So I'll name it like that. For future semesters, I'll give it the appropriate uh, name as well. So base Windows 7 VM will install WAMP and other apps. Okay, it works for me. Uh, choose next. This is an internet connected VM as well. Uh, so um, I think everything else here is going to be fine. We'll go ahead and choose next. Uh, yep, I think we're all looking good here. And next. And all of this looks good. Uh, two, gigabytes might, two gigabytes might be a little low on memory. I'll go ahead and bump that to four. Uh, could go up as high as eight, but I think four will be adequate for our use. Hard disk. Let's go ahead and go with, Eclipse is going to be a little bit of space. Let's go with 128 gigabytes. And next. And everything looks good here. Uh, we'll go ahead and power on the VApp when this is finished. And now I'm going to choose Finish. Now with it finished, I navigate back to home and we see that it's creating. So we'll let this run for a little bit as it creates.